Good evening. Residents in the tiny New Brunswick village of McAdam are feeling something they haven't felt in over 30 years tonight. The village has been hit by a series of small earthquakes all week long. The tremors have put many people on edge, wondering when the next aftershock will happen. Global's Kara Rapke was in the village today and brings us this update tonight. Yes, this picture here, which was hanging right directly behind me, that came down and hit the hardwood floor. Longtime McAdam resident Gloria Neeson says petrified doesn't even begin to describe her emotional state right now. She says when the first 2.4 magnitude earthquake hit McAdam on Saturday, nobody really knew what was happening. This sounds like a lot of dynamite, all of, but all lit at the same time. It's just a great big humongous blast, you know, the loud ones. I didn't know what it was. I thought it could be thunder, but it's too cold to thunder. Aftershocks have been recorded and felt in the village of McAdam over the last few days. We've been surprised every time one happens now, we jump and yell. These particular ones At the University of New Brunswick, scientists say they are surprised so many people felt the earthquake over the weekend because it was relatively small. Most of the stronger earthquakes in the country happen along the west coast, but activity isn't unheard of in eastern Canada. From St. Stephen up towards McAdam and Vanceboro, there is a, there is a fault system there, an ancient fault system. There has been uh, evidence of earthquakes or recorded there before. Many of the residents here in McAdam say they're still on edge and they felt more earthquakes than what has been reported. I'm getting so I expect them now. I, I kind of assume that they're just going to happen and they don't, but they're scary when it happens. It just didn't seem that they were going to end because we'd get small rumbles and then a, neat, a big blast again. Neeson says she wonders why surrounding areas haven't been affected by the earthquakes. At UNB, researchers have been looking at different reasons why McAdam has been feeling a number of rumblings. Those themselves would be readjustments, so a little bit of transfer of, of load or stress from one part of the fault to another part of the fault. White says earthquakes really aren't a big concern in this part of the world, but he wouldn't completely dismiss the threat because historically there have been a few stronger earthquakes, including the one which ripped through the region in 1982. Kara Rapke, Global News, McAdam, New Brunswick.